<laughs> How oh are you? Oh my god. Welcome welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Hot Mess Express podcast with Sasha and Nate. Sasha and Nate. I'm podcast. Nate. I am Sasha, clearly. Hi, Sasha. Sasha Fierce, if you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, what the hell? What did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Fierce, if you're nasty. Like Janet <laughs> Jackson, if you're nasty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the reference I was like, makes why sense. don't I have a nickname like that? Oh, my God. We can nasty make one for you. Nate. We can make one for you. Okay, hold on a damn minute. The my, hell? My third graders called me t- uh, Nader Tot. <laughs> I okay, thought that, that was I cute. <laughs> Nader Tot. Nader okay, Tot. That's actually it. That might that's be it. That's cute. Hi. Well, friends, welcome to our podcast. Um, I want to kind of introduce this to everyone um, and let them know why we've started a podcast, like what it means maybe, and then just kind of go from there. So this was actually awesome. your like, I'm going to say dream, but that might be a big word for this experience. <laughs> like, I, I think dream is a fair word. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like for. Like you were the one that were like, that was like. Us oh, really? as a pair. I was like, th- there's no. Re- I don't know. I don't know. I could just hear us as. Doing this. Yes. Yeah. As podcasters. <laughs> it was not hard for me to visualize that at all. Yeah. And then I just had to do a little bit of research and I was like, I don't know how to do this. And then guess what the hell I did? I figured out how to do this. Because you're brilliant as hell. <laughs> well. <laughs> About and you're determined things. as I, hell. Determined you as are hell. determined. I was as like, hell. sometimes, okay, not that a podcast falls in the vein of science. <laughs> well, but in my brain, I was like, um, what plugs into what to then right. work in the what and then the what? Sound engineering is a science, babe. Don't okay, even, so then I was right. Right. See, I was right, right as like, always. Don't even, don't even try to downplay the <laughs> Thank you, you for are that. You're a scientist, is I was what like, you can um, say. Um, this is a lot harder than just like, yeah. It's like a whole nother language. It's a whole other Every thing. time I try to do anything at the school that revolves around sound, I'm like, mm, no, this. that's not happening. People need to be doing this. Yes. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to pay for people to do this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um. So how come the name Hot Mess Express? Like, what can we tell the folks about well, why we've named it this? Hot Mess Express has just always been kind of a phrase that we've informally associated with yeah. ourselves and then when we did start doing uh you know video social media and stuff that was one of the first hashtags that we always put right. like that's how oh i remember it God. but then i also remember you know in the early snapchat filters and stuff when we would just film what and we were like we are such a hot mess and like i just literally remember, yes yeah literally yes i literally had to write down notes because i'm like what the hell are we gonna like what are we even doing <laughs> <laughs> why do we have a podcast <laughs> Because we're a hot mess. And then I said, why call the pod Hot Mess Express? <laughs> and then I put our friendship in general, question mark. Yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, no, literally our class, like our classes together at the beginning yes. of our friendship. Yeah. Getting called out um, oh, for laughing God, too much by the bad. teachers. It's like, excuse me, what did I miss? It's like, nothing, and I was nothing. Like, we're oh, just laughing. Okay. That one teacher, you know, uh-huh. no names will be mentioned. None. But that one teacher, we sat in the front row, Nathan. We survived in and the front we row. And we chuckled and giggled and buffooned <laughs> in <laughs> the front row. Okay, yep. that man is directly in front of us. Yep. And we're over here and we didn't get kicked out no. or and yet we're in the back row of the other class and we giggle once. And he turns around and is like, "Excuse me? Huh? What's going on what there? What did I miss?" <gasps> and we're like, "Nothing. Nothing. I coughed." I said, "Oh, <laughs> never mind." <laughs> so it was also in that second oh. teacher's class. You want to talk about hot mess? Uh-huh. You want to tell them the duck joke? Yeah, that's where you asked me what kind of amphibian a duck was. You were just tippy tappy typing up, up the scene. like a set mad scene, yeah. woman just typing. And I don't even remember what you were doing. But <laughs> I think I said the phrase, hell has fire, save the matches, fuck a duck and see what hatches. So you were typing that down for some reason. Okay. Like I remember that. It's a Steven Tyler quote, I oh, think. Okay. But you were just typing it down for whatever reason. And then all of a sudden you just stop. <laughs> and you look at me and you go, what kind of animal is a duck? I said, it's a bird. And you go, no, not. that's not right. It's an amphibian. And I was like, no, it's a bird. And you argued for forever. N- never mind the fact that you had your computer out in front of you and you could have easily typed in what kind of animal is a duck. Do you know what's faster than my fingers? My mouth. <laughs> is that a good thing? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> she would like to rewind. Um, 
Your brain is a special place. My brain is an unfathomable place. <laughs> it is such a special place because what the hell? You're talking about science. Oh, it's that was great. Science. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell did that come up? Because animals and marine and marine biologists uh, study animals. They study animals of the water of the sea. So of the show ocean. Me I'm wrong, duck water. <laughs> Amphibian, marine biologist. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It makes so much sense. Yes, it does. I'm glad. I'm glad it makes sense. Um, yes. <laughs> so there's that. Yes. That is that is our friendship. Like that was literally back at the beginning before before any of this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Before like ten years ago, eleven yeah, years ago. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Hot Mess Express, like, I think makes sense for our friendship in that way. But also um, just our individual lives. You think? Like you and I, yes. Like we are walking disasters. Yes. And of course, well, now me, that I say that. You, well, I was like. Oh, honey, I, I have my moments. I just do them gracefully and out of your sight. <laughs> I was going to say, I have yet to see you. <laughs> oh, crum- I, 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 I fumble all the time. Same. I do. I do. I, do fumble. I was homeschooled. <laughs> Most of the words I have to look up before I oh say them. Oh my god! You have never <laughs> spoken more true words. <laughs> Hot messes oh. are born from homeschooling. Yep. Now yep. I was not homeschooled. I just have the. Yeah. Most so what's your excuse? <laughs> my brain, pre-death, my brain should be studied by pre-death. Pre-deceased, my brain should be studied by science. Wouldn't that kill you? <laughs> they, ha- they have machines. <laughs> <laughs> They have electrodes that they hook up. They put those, electrodes. those little caps on you that has all the things. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I was like, <laughs> I don't think that's just like a sleep study. Or just like the, the headgear and I'm just there. The headgear. They're, like, they're like tickling my brain and then I play guitar. Yeah. <laughs> because that's how it works. If I that could do that, gosh works. darn it, the guitar is challenging. <laughs> it's, it's just more so my fingers hurt really bad because oh, so they're much. so sensitive Well, you have to callous them. That's the problem. It's awful. I have piano fingers, which are mm-hmm. strong. Oh, yeah. But not in the calloused way. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. I get that. They're not calloused yet. I get that. Um. Okay. So, since we're, you know, starting our podcast, I'm my wife's called Han Melzing's Browns. Han Melzing's Browns. Speaking of which. <laughs> there was something I was going to ask and or talk about, and it has slipped my brain. Really? Did you write it down in your notes? Well. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was coming up as we were talking, and then me. Um, okay. Is it ADHD? Where like if you don't do it right in that moment, you never do it again because your brain forgets. What is maybe that? ADD? Oh, is that what it is? I, I don't have know. that really bad. Really? Because it was just right there, and it was so loud and clear, and I was like, ha ha ha! ha. It's gone. Oh. No, hold on. I love that. Let's retrace. For you. <laughs> Hot mess express. The duck is not an amphibian. Um, getting Marine yelled at in class by our college professors. Um, yes. um, best friends of ten years. Oh, should we like go through disasters. the whole story? That's what it was. I found it. See, <laughs> walk yourself down the path, and you get back to where your brain. Um, should we talk about like let's like talk about us? Okay. Let's let the peoples know um, who we are, how we met. Should we talk about who we are individually, and then how we met? I feel like all of those could be like separate. A, yeah, a separate episode. <laughs> I would oh say my since God. it's us, let's talk about how we met. Okay. Like I remember um, it was the second year that I lived here because okay. I'm originally from Kansas and um, moved to Utah. And um, I remember walking into my first class in my master's program. I was going to get a master's in music ed and I walk into my first class and you were the first thing that I noticed. You were a couple of rows back. It's the one that we ended up being on the front row eventually. Yeah, but I remember that you were a couple of rows yeah. back. And I remember what stuck out to me was your braids. And I remember them being red. Yeah, they were. Were they? they okay. Were. I remember yeah. them being bright red and sitting beside you and just saying hi. And you said, Hi. And I said, I'm Nathan. And you said, I'm Sasha. And you and said you liked there, my hair. Yes. I said yeah. I love your braids. Thank you. And then went back forward. Like, the conversation was interesting because we'd say something to each it other and was. then look back forward. And then just blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And that was the first day. And I don't remember much after those, like, few words before the class. Right. But, um, because I don't think you knew anybody else, 
Was that also your first year? That was my first year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was yeah, that yeah, your yeah. first class? First class, first okay. year, first day. So you didn't know anybody else in there either. Yeah, it was an it was an evening class, wasn't it? Too? Yeah, yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember, or like late afternoon. Or I something. think so. Yeah. I remember going directly there after um, work. Oh, okay. And going or trying to find the class. Yeah. 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 yeah that was our literal first day in that class. Mm-hmm. Um, remedial. Oh, music God. theory is the that class. Was, that was bad. We so we had to take an entrance exam, right? Yep. <clears throat> and yep. <laughs> I went straight from my undergraduate to my graduate, and I had to take remedial theory because I did not do so good on I the had test. Three years between mine. Okay, so yeah. But then again, there were other people that were in the same boat as you were, going directly into their <laughs> masters. Excuse me, as I swallow my face. And I was like, um. Going directly into their masters and had to take the same yeah. test too. I am now in hindsight. First of all, what did we even learn in that class? In the remedial one, yes. nothing. Yeah, like, I remember a lot of stuff from my other classes, but in that one, nothing. Nothing. Because we learned it all in undergrad, and yet somehow it didn't pass the test they gave, and then had to retake things before we could get to the college credit. Right. It was dumb. It was dumb. It was real dumb. But that's where we met, so I guess it wasn't that dumb. You know what I mean? Well, right. Like, the class itself was dumb, yeah. but the fact that we met there was so not So we dumb. both have uh, musical backgrounds, um, and hence that's why we, like, met in a music class. Um, I was coming from a piano performance. Don't just shush. Oh, it, I know we put post videos on the internet where I very clearly do not play piano well. Hold on. Sight reading and studying a piece are two completely different things. Thank you. Two completely I different things. I could cry. Things. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're two <laughs> completely different things. That's my least favorite part about those videos. Yeah. While, yes, they are hysterical. They are so And fun. while we are fumbling yes. all over the place, it does make me sad that you don't get to see just how amazing of a pianist she actually is. Because she really that. is. She has two performance degrees in this freaking instrument. <laughs> You're the best. And <laughs> she is really, really good. Really, really good. When I have time to practice. Right. So, right. Right, right, right. You know, take that for what that degree was. You know, it made me good at um, practicing the same fucking thing for nine months and then performing it. And right. then dying but of anxiety. But she played Liz's first transcendental etude. And if you don't know the 12 transcendental etudes, go and look them up because they're ridiculous. She played the first one. Boom! Okay, Go. so thank you Next. so much. <laughs> yes, we have musical backgrounds. And you were in, in school at that time for um, music education, correct? Yeah, that yeah. was my master's. Yeah. Is, yes. Yeah. My undergrad was in music ed, and then I had a triple minor. Well, they called it an emphasis, but I think okay. it's essentially the same thing. Triple emphasis in piano, organ, and opera performance was my thing. Now, I'm not even going to pretend that I know how to play the organ anymore. Well, that was just one of those things. I also took organ lessons. And did you what? really? Yes, I did. I didn't realize that. Oh, my God. I had the coolest freaking professor. I'm going to say his name. Dr. Bonenstengel. <laughs> oh, say so it again. Say it again. <laughs> say it again. That's not a real word. You just yeah. made that shit up. Dr. Bonenstengel. Does he work in Dr. Seuss's land? Like, hey, that now. was amazing. He was German, and he introduced me to sparkling water, and I fucking hated that <laughs> shit. What <I'm saying>, <laughs> the fuck is going on? <laughs> I tried it, and I was like, why does it? Why does it feel like Coke? But there's no flavor, and he's like, why does it feel "He's like, this is amazing," and I was like, "This sucks." I was and like, he "It's just salt water. It's yeah, gross." It was so confusing for my brain. Um, anyway, <laughs> so he was literally one of the most amazing professors I've ever had. Aww. Um, and I think I was maybe three. I was somewhere into the degree already, and I don't know how it came up. I forgot the details of that, but I ended up taking organ lessons with him, and um, it was at That's a church so like off cool. campus or whatever, and. Um, I remember never having the right shoes. I would always wear these <gasps> super cute little flats because they were super <laughs> in at that time. And um, but like my heels would pop out of the shoe, and I'm over here trying to play with my feet. And then, yeah, yeah. And they tried to show me all the stops and stuff, and I was like, this "Isn't that is crazy? So overwhelming. So it is overwhelming. So crazy, bitch. What? Not that we remembered a single thing from our organ lessons, but what the hell would happen if we sat behind an organ? Are you kidding me? I would die. What if we oh, just did a little? My God. Bl- no, it would. We would burn the organ down. We would. We would. Flames. That would be awful. Phantom of what of, opera? No, we would be the phantoms. <laughs> we would become the phantoms of said opera house. We would set the organ on fire oh and become the phantoms that burned in it. Oh, but the organ is such a cool instrument. Like I'm flashing back now to the organ yeah. that I played on at Wichita State. It was this. One of a kind Marcus and organ, like the hall was built around the instrument, oh, and it's made wow. out of wood. Some of the wood on the panel, like where all the stops and yeah. stuff are, is now extinct. It was are you bra- kidding it was me? some sort of Brazilian rosewood or something, and it was 
uh, now extinct, like you couldn't get it anymore, or they were trying to bring it back to life. Like what the it was crazy. hell? Yeah, and it was a forty six hundred pipe organ, which was awesome. Wow, it was so cool. That must so have cool. amazing. Oh, it sounded so amazing. There's videos of it on YouTube. I'll show it to you. Should we maybe reach out to our contacts at our university and see if we can't play that giant, giant organ in Libby Gardner Hall? I don't know. We could try. I don't have any contacts at the U. I do. When it, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. In My fiendish realm. brain is like, wait a minute. Could we make this happen? Surely we could and get like, in there. And film the whole, whole thing and just... Can you imagine hearing us I with those mistakes? I wouldn't know where to start, though. Like, I don't even know if I'd know I'd how to properly find turn it on. Oh. We'd have to have someone That's there to help us. That's a very good point is the turning on of the instrument. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you think it's just an on-off switch. But it's... Maybe it is, actually. Maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. Like, you know, not like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That would be so fun. That'd that be would be a crazy thing to do. Oh, that would terrify me. But I think it would be fun, yeah. It'd be so fun. Okay, we'll we'll table that for now. Um, well, I follow a couple of organists on the socials. Do they're you? amazing, yeah. Okay, yeah, I love that. They're amazing. I'll show you a couple. Okay, of them. please. They're awesome. Yeah, they're very. Talented. One is the principal organist of Royal Albert Hall. Are you She's kidding amazing. me? Anna, oh my god, yes, Anna I know. Lapwood. I've seen her on TikTok. Yeah, yes. Anna Lapwood, I think is her name. She's in the U.S. right now. She's is she? Gonna, she's getting ready to play in Atlantic City on the world's largest organ. It has thirty-two thousand pipes in it. When do we have time for a trip? Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe it already happened. Oh, I don't damn. know. But that I saw it last so weekend. Cool. She was practicing on it, like just trying to get used to it. Yeah, I love her. Anyway, so one of my minors is in Oregon, oh, and yeah. then we uh, <laughs> met in our master's degree. I was gonna go for music education again. Yeah, did it for a year, and then I was like, eh, I'm not enjoying this, so yeah. I stopped. But you completed your performance yeah. degree, your yeah. master's performance, yeah. performance. Piano performance master, whatever, whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah, masters you know what I'm about. in piano performance. Yes, that one. Yeah. Do you yes. know, I was having a thought about that the other day. And by the other day, it might have even been just yesterday or today. Other than the crazy videos we post online, I'm not using my degree in any capacity, am I? Really? Yes. I'm not using, I say degree, but technically it's degrees in any capacity. And... I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, that's exactly what I was saying. And I say, think yeah. you would be surprised, or maybe even not surprised, to find out how many people are in the exact same boat as you. Mm. Yeah. Like, I can think of several family members right now and friends off the top Music of my or head. or just their degrees in just general? Just period. Mm. Just period. Okay. Like, I have a cousin that went into a degree in nursing, yeah. and after she finished her clinical, she was like, I don't want to do this, and didn't end up. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And went and did something that made her super so happy, happy and yeah. she is amazing and happy as a clam and um f- other cousins that have you know left the teaching profession yeah. or not use their degree in that way and i don't think there's anything wrong with that i don't think so i don't think there's anything wrong with it either Mm-mm. it's just kind of interesting to, like to think of how much time oh my god when i say time that is such an understatement like how much right? energy like emotion anxiety like literal blood blood sweat and tears literal blood on my piano at home like how many hours did you practice a day in college oh i was what was to do three, a, but three hours a day was your i okay. would try and get up to three but it was yeah it was hard for me to do that because like the anti-social aspect of being a piano major and being alone in a practice room for minimum three hours a day mm-hmm. like it was so hard when at the end of the day, especially, I'd want to go and do something else or I'd yeah. have an invitation to something. And it's like, well, but I have another hour, hour and a half, fucking two hours right. left to practice. Right. And <clears throat> then I'm alone by myself and I'm like, I want to not be doing this, you know? If I did it correctly, like according to all my syllabuses and yeah. how much how much practice I was supposed to be getting, yeah. six hours a day. Yeah, because you had all the instruments. Yeah, six hours a day. So three was an average day for me and I would call that fairly solid. Four was a good day. And they're all solo instruments. Yeah. Piano, voice, organ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the organ was the hardest because there was only one, the massive pipe organ. Yeah. And then one organ practice room that had a teeny tiny organ in it. So I had to reserve times to practice in it. And sometimes it was late at night. Yep. So after work, after everything, I would go back to the university at like literally 9.30 p.m. Oh, my God. And have my 30 practice. minutes on the organ yeah. just to practice there and then practice I the rest of the time I don't miss those days. Man, I don't miss those days. Like, I do miss playing piano. Yeah. Um, Or even just like having access to a piano as easily as I did 
during my degree. Um, I really do actually miss playing, but not at that level, not with that intensity, not with that level of judgment, like yeah. at all. It's actually it's actually crazy, that. like how much fun it is to play mm-hmm. and post those fucking videos where we're just yes, and by we me where I am making literally all of the mistakes no and yet, you are not well, yes i am the sight reading is not good but it's so much fun and i'm laughing through it instead of like dying of anxiety like right it's right almost like therapeutic. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. point that's an interesting what is that a dichotomy uh, no is what that it, or a paradox what is the oh word? bitch <laughs> damn hold on let me go let me go hold on we have devices that are smarter than us. I don't know. I was those homeschooled. Both sound, I know. I was like, those both sound like gorgeous words. Let's they use are. both of them. Yes, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, but it is fun. Yeah, same thing. Because yeah. I private taught piano for a while. Yeah. And I learned that I hated it. Yeah. Like music. I Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it so much more when I just do it for me. When it's or when just I for just fun. Play. Yeah. Like I accompany for the choirs at school. And I love that. Because oh, it's brainless. Yeah. I'm not necessarily responsible for any of the kids or yeah. their education. I'm just responsible You're just playing. for Yes. You're just collaborating and making yes. music. That's what yes. I love too. That is what I love. Like I don't love teaching. Did you just say that? You don't love teaching either? Like I don't love private teaching. teaching. Yeah, private yeah. teaching lessons. <clears throat> but the the times where I've just accompanied other musicians, yeah. that has been my favorite. Mm-hmm. Like it's also been so good. Some of the hardest repertoire I've yes, ever played. Yes, because they in my think, life. oh, you're a piano player, you can play every instrument yeah. in the orchestra with your ten fingers. Yeah. And my ten fingers are not long, so. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> I, had the on. Smallest hands. I wish you could see that. Holy! I shit. might zoom in. That's yeah, amazing. I have very small hands. There's no. I had no business playing piano. Are your thumbs double jointed? No, yours oh, are, and okay. I, don't, I don't need to see it. Okay. I've seen it enough times in my life. <laughs> my thumbs are double jointed, so I can pop them out of place, and or <gasps> and maybe it's not double jointed, bigger... like hyper mobile, so I can reach an extra half key when I do that. Damn, good for you. Makes me happy. I need um extenders. Is that I, a need, thing? I need Viagra of the fingers. <laughs> I need Cialis of the fingers. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's awful. Oh. I'm so sorry. How do you know the name of Cialis? Viagra, I can Have understand. Have you never watched late night TV? God. No. Oh yeah, homeschooled. <laughs> um, <laughs> not Our even first... mentioning the, the religious aspect to it as well. But yes. Our first TV, TV had the screen of a rear view mirror of a Buick, but the size was the rest of the Buick. <laughs> like those massive oh ass TVs. Oh my God, that yes. We've had it at a garage sale. <laughs> Uh, we watched Beauty and the Beast on that. Oh my yeah. God, the That's original. Great. Yes. Yeah. As we should have, man. Those VHS right? tapes. Right. I remember going to the store and seeing them all lined up, and I remember always wanting them. And now you go to thrift stores, and it's the same situation that they're fifty cents a piece. And I'm like, you and know, I'm what? like, the I want to buy them yeah. just for nostalgia. The way streaming services are like, and it's gonna be twenty dollars for that, and it's gonna be fifteen dollars for that. Yep. All of a sudden, I'm like, um. Maybe I should have. Not that I ever collected DVDs, but like, let me start now. I did. Let me go and buy them for a dollar a piece. Right. Find an, a DVD player, plug it in, and stop worrying with all this bullshit. But I, I haven't I used my Blu-ray in forever, and I still have all my DVDs. I can't part with them. No, that I mean, it makes sense. It's almost like we going from DVDs and all that shit, and then going to streaming, and it's like, oh my god, who would even use DVDs? And now we're. I feel like we're coming back around. Like yeah. we're starting that turn back around of like. Because vinyls came back in. Yes. Like, the streaming, they're starting to suck. Like, Netflix doesn't have enough good on it. Except for I'm watching Outlander, so I gotta keep well, that Well, that, and like, I don't have the patience to try new things on Netflix. For sure. Th- like, sure. It was like, you need to try this, you need to try this, you need to try this. And I trust them, and I believe them, well, but also at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm, like, agreeing with you, and I just started Shadow and Bone yesterday. Is it good? I... And one and literally one and a half episodes in. And okay. I, I paused it. Why? At a really pivotal point. Not sure. Um, I might be obsessed. I'm watching Daughters of the Occult on Hulu. What the hell is that? It's a, doc- a five episode documentary on the LeBaron polygamous cult. I had never heard of them. LeBaron? Are those the ones here in Salt Lake? No. Oh. They were. I mean, there might be some, but these were like down on the border of Mexico and oh. New Mexico and like a murderous sect of oh, polygamy. Damn. I'm, I'm obsessed. Watch that. Anybody else out there? You said who, five episodes? Uh, yes, I think it's five episodes okay, I'm on to Hulu. Watch that too. I love a like it's, a like a it's doc- terrifying you say documentary. Documentary, okay. and it's the daughters of one of these leaders. I think 
Okay. That are talking oh, or the yeah. children of one of these leaders. There's a couple. Guys if I'm in not there into too. fantasy, I tell you what, right now I'm into murder mysteries. Well, mm. not that you said it was a murder mystery, but like you know that kind of stuff. Documentaries. Yeah. yeah. Um. Like yeah. crime dramas. As you can see from my switch. What does it say? Basquiat. What is that? Basquiat. Um. So the first series that I read. Okay. Iron Flame. I'm oh, sorry. That's the second book. Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. That okay. series. Is with this again. Oh. Sorry. Um. And interestingly, I loved Fourth Wing. I should say Iron okay. Flame. I don't know if we're going to get into book talk right now, but it, got, it, start, it started to get on my nerves. Like, I still read through it. I still gasped at the ending. I feel, that, was, that was the one that I filmed the ending yeah. and posted. Yeah. Because um, a friend of mine told me to do that. And um, thank God the series isn't done. But anyways, I just, when I was in the throes of that series, yeah. someone that comes to my classes. Um, yeah. Which also we maybe talk about. We can also talk about one day what we do. Yeah. Um, like, as people. <laughs> um, as human beings. Yeah. They came to my class and they were like, oh my God, you need this. And I found it and I bought it immediately. Um, but now I'm deep into Akatar. Yeah. Now I am deep into that series. Like literally 70% of the way through the last book, through the fifth book. Wow. And... Are you going to stop? Because I know you have a thing with endings. I'm going to finish the book. But like again, it, it reached a pivotal point in the book this afternoon when I was reading. And then I stopped. Because I was like... No, if I keep reading, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be eighty percent, ninety percent. So I stopped, it's just so I could try and still be reading it for a little bit longer. Even though I have the next, sorry, we're we're going. It's book talk apparently. Um, even though I have the next series that I would like to read, like set up and ready to go. Um, I'm still sad to be finishing this one. <laughs> it's been a glorious experience reading Agatha. I just love that you read fantasy. Um, that makes me happy. I had no clue. I was like, I don't know. Is this a category? I don't care. I just like this book. <laughs> it's the same thing with anything. We talked about this like before. Fantasy it was smut. Like, smut to see. Smut. It has to have smut. It has to have romance. <laughs> if it has no romance, it will not have me. It won't have me in it. Which is why you like Twilight. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess maybe. Twilight is well. Is, is that, that fantasy smutty? or is that science fiction? I have. Do you think. Huh? I don't know. What are vampires? Are oh, they God. fantasy? Wait a minute. Or are they own gen 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 genre? Genre. <laughs> genre. <laughs> Maybe we are in book I talk. Actually, I was like, we, we are fully. We're there. We're talking about Twilight and what series, what kind of genre it is. That's probably not the question for me. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a newbie to book talk. I'd be so curious to know what book, book talk thinks about Twilight. If they think it's, what, what did we say, fantasy or, or science, smutty or science, fiction or science fiction or. I think compared to the smut that I'm reading now, there's or no smut. Monster verse. Monster creature. That verse might be a made up genre, monster verse. Well, I'm, God, I'm reading about dragons. Godzilla and is the monster verse. Oh, it's really? nicknamed the Monsterverse, yeah. Is it Godzilla, a book? King Kong, no, the movies. Were there ever books or no? I don't know. Oh, shit, I don't know. That. Because now I'm like, oh, everything, like Shadow and Bone, apparently, is also a book series. The Witcher oh. is a book series. I thought The Witcher was a video game. Oh, shit. No, that was um, The Last of Us. The Last that of Us Last was of a video us. game, yeah. for sure. I thought The Witcher was too. I have no Am idea. I crazy? Oh, I have no clue. We're probably I, sounding I so fucking stupid I know. I was right like, now. We, the way we don't know, I was like, I oh watched it on Netflix. That's what I know of The Witcher. Well, I, I got, don't even know anything else. I watched the first season of The Witcher, and then the second one, I got really disinterested because he had a shirt uh, on the yeah, whole time. Yeah, he was way too clothed. There was no sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does have to have smut. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I'm not. I love. <laughs> you love a smut, smut. moment. I love it. <laughs> Oh my God! Maybe that should be an episode where we literally get into our Apple or our, into our um um oh shit Kindle? damn I'm hell Kindle. your Kindle yeah. what's mine the Am the Amazon one the oh, um, that's Kindle. Uh, oh uh, Audible oh, I get okay, into okay, my okay, Audible okay. library and we literally just read each other our smut titles and see how bad they are <gasps> that would be so awful. I was like I could literally read them to you right now. No, They're right no. here. <laughs> no, we won't do that. Um, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is there anything else we want to say in this introductory episode? Like, well, now we are, we're here. Now we're here. Yes. Now we have a podcast. Yes. So after that first time, the second time we hung out, we went out to eat afterwards. It was after class. That's I remember that. Right. You were like, "You want to go get food?" And I was like, "Sure." Because I remember walking you to your car. That I that do remember. That first class? No, or? it was either the second class. Okay. Or the second, yeah, the second time we went to the class, okay. or maybe the second week we went to the class, or something. I don't know. You're like, "You want to go get food?" I was like, "Sure." 
Because it was late at night. Yeah. I was walking you to your car. And so we went out to eat. We went to a, a an Americanized Mexican food place. Yes. The best kinds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And damn. we trauma dumped on each other. Oh, my God. Like, I've never in my life experienced. Like, you were so open. That, like, did, that, like changed something in my brain. Um, Because you were just, like, I don't know if you want to, like, discuss that or anything. But. Probably not in this one. Okay. But, I mean. Yeah, I do remember just, I don't know what it was either, because... What you said, or... Well, I don't know what it was about, uh, like, you in that moment. Mm. It was a universe Like, you just felt, like, thing. safe. Yeah. Yeah. Just felt safe, and I was just like, okay, well, here's this shit. Yeah. And you were like, the well, fact here's that this he shit. initiated and... and was like, well, here's my shit. And I said, oh, wait, here's my shit. And we said it in, like, a light way. Yeah. Like, and we sat in that booth, I swear, for two hours we talking. We might have, yeah. And it was like, I don't know. Like, we just, And then it yeah. was like downhill from there. Yeah. We've literally been best friends. Is it 10 or 11? How many years now? 2013. So this, this, this is summer. our 11th yeah, year. Yeah, this summer will be 11 years of best yeah. friendery. Yeah. Yeah. In August. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at us now. Oh, yeah. I wanted to also talk about, maybe in another episode, we'll talk about how the hell we're here. Like, what right? happened with social media and right. stuff like that. Yeah. Right, right, right. But I hope that this was enough of an introduction of, like, who... Who? To the actual Hot Mess Express. Yeah, like who Sasha and Nate, how, like who we are as friends. Yeah. We'll get more into like socials and I like, who we are as people, I guess. But just for an introduction, hey. This is us. This is us. That's this is also the Hot a good Mess series Express. that I watched. Wait, that's what we talked about. The one that was a video game. No, that's With... The Last of Us. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like you moron, we were talking about that. <laughs> it's a different show, you dumbass. Oh, and who's the dumbass? It's always me. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, you're so oh uh, you're not the dumb one. I'm the dumb one. It's alright. So Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I've I'm never dumber? seen those. I have. Who's the dumb one? Who's the dumber one? I mean, we can fight about it day to day. <laughs> I think it changes. Yes. <laughs> and depending on what topic, too. Yeah. I mean, on that last moment, you were the dumber. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not a lie was told. <laughs> not even. I, I want to I turn that into like the, the Christmas story. Not okay. a lie was told. Or the Grinch. Not a lie was told. Not even a mouse. Like not even. Not a whisper. Not a lie was told. Not, not a, even not a mouse. Not a whisper in the house. Not a movement in the house. Not even a mouse. And the Grinch came and stole. <laughs> Are you trying to come up with the phrase not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. <laughs> And we've moved on to the sequel, Dumb and Dumber-er. <laughs> and she's dead. I can't Not a creature it. was stirring. Not even about, that's the fucking phrase. I was like, what are, what the, what in the goddamn are you trying to say? <laughs> Not a whisper was spoken. Not even a mouse. <laughs> what the? <laughs> At least you were confident. <laughs> And also, that's not how the Grinch stole Christmas. That's the night before Christmas. <laughs> how many things could I mix up in one analogy? You went so far south oh, with damn one introduction. It. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end. So on that note, I need tissues. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> On the Hot Mess Express, you can expect more of this uh, coming at you Sasha very soon. And Nate. From Sasha and Nate. Loving you. Loving you all. Seeing you soon. Make good choices. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>